Hi there, this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Virgo. Hi Virgos, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, as well as a cross watcher of the Virgo. This is your love and emotions reading, so your extended will be in the love, no, in the intimate zodiac section. I knew something was flipped over. This, sorry, this is from my previous reading, so why don't we just give it another good shuffle again? False start, that could be important here. False start. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. This is someone going through a spiritual awakening. This is someone here that's cracking open, okay? Someone may be experiencing downloads, insights. Someone here may be focusing right now on purging, on learning about spirituality. Maybe some of you are going through the process of learning about law of attraction, things of that sort, okay? You also have this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. When the awakening occurs and the healing happens and you get out there after this, is it's sort of like the caterpillar goes into the cocoon, so you guys are going to go through this period of alone and separation. Separation, time apart from your partners on the horizon. And then when you're healed and you come out, then you meet someone new. Because this is not this. It's two separate energies. You can feel it. It's, it's not the same person. It's different. This person that you separated from, for those of you that that resonates with, it's because that person was a vibrational match to the unhealed you, if that makes sense. The version of you that... Had trauma who accepted crumbs right after the awakening we know what we deserve we're not accepting crumbs anymore this four of cups here there could have been a person in your life who didn't reciprocate who didn't give you what you deserved okay that's what that energy feels like it's that kind of an energy of someone who is unwilling to reciprocate being dissatisfied with options, not partaking in things. Knight of Swords, younger air sign. And also this King of Wands, bottom of the deck, we say Kang, Dang, Alang. That's a very aggressive alpha energy. A hanged man. There's a pause. It's also enlightenment. So very strong awakening vibes here, right? Going through a spiritual awakening. Um, there's also, though, this energy of a pause. It's a stalemate. That's separation again twice. So extreme separation and distance here between these two. Seven of Pentacles waiting. Seven of, seven of Pentacles is waiting. It's also like um, biding time. You have the Nine of Wands. The wounded warrior someone here was definitely biding time so someone here may have been like bullshitting around not serious um they were unhealed going through some shit trauma themselves <sighs> offered took it back offered took it back offered do you see that kind of a vibe that's what it feels like offered and took it back offered and took it back it's like a weird energy but i mean that's what you encounter when you do with people who do not fucking are they're not healed king of wands again aries leo sag energy a very aggressive alpha leader type of masculine two of wands making a choice options someone offers something see this is a new energy the new energy is going to be someone who is willing to reciprocate someone who puts in action and movement the sun healing the sun is also a reveal right it's success and the hierophant taurus but the hierophant here is commitment this one here wants to commit. They're steady. See this here, the seven of wands in the past. Someone didn't want that. Someone blocked it out. Someone refused. Three of swords, pain, heartbreak. That's that separation. The world. 
completion of a huge life cycle. It's like they're saying, congratulations, you're going to heal from this. You're going to be just fine, right? The sun is healing. It triumphs and it trumps this. Sun is the happiest card in the whole fucking deck. It literally trumps everything. Every little thing is going to be all right. It's that kind of a vibe. Don't worry about a thing. Cancer card here, chariot. See, five of pentacles, separation again. Having to leave someone, someone leaving you, no longer being together. Every little thing's gonna be all right. A lot of sleepless nights, a lot of anxiety. I mean, Virgos, you guys suffer from anxiety normally. Right? There's a lot of anxiousness, paranoia. There could be a lot of unsettled feelings. There could be a lot of insomnia, not being able to relax. It is collective, if that gives you any comfort. All 12 signs have been experiencing this. I'm noticing that the very highly intuitive people that are very tapped in are feeling it very extremely. Communicate clearly. In your next connection, there's going to be this sense of you and this person will be able to communicate. They won't be ghosting or ignoring. They're going to communicate like a normal person, unlikely. If you have any thought in your mind of someone you think it could be or an outcome of a current situation, they're saying it's unlikely. So if you think it's so-and-so, it ain't them. It's not. It's a very, very unlikely that that's going to happen. Ask for help from others. Some of you are reaching out to talk to people, to get assistance, to have someone to talk to so you don't feel so alone, to get someone else's advice. See, there's something better. I told you that there was something new coming in. Don't worry about a thing. Perfect timing. It happens in the perfect moment, in the perfect timing, when you're ready. Everybody's going to be ready at a different time. Some people take a little longer to heal. Some people prefer to be alone. You guys are Virgo. You're the hermits. You guys like to be alone. Alone is good. Broom, see the mice, there's that paranoia, stress, anxiety. Told you, you guys feel it really heavy, but, and that's normal for you guys to feel it really heavy, but it really is collective. A lot of people are feeling this way, restless. There's this feeling of just like, you know, the worry, and you can't quite place it either. Temperance, patience, this is Sagittarius, patience, and the broom. The broom is cleaning up, cleaning house, getting rid of shit. Right, the broom can also be a card of unavoidable. Some of you may have been avoiding the deep shadow work, the healing, but I don't really think so. You know, I think what it is is cleaning house, getting rid of old shit, the falcon rising above. Some of you guys are working on your third eye, right? Being more intuitive. This talks about transition, changes, higher self, rising above, raising your vibration. And the firefly, chemistry, soul spark, magic, attraction. Someone very exceptional. That's the energy that's going to come in when it's time. Remember, perfect timing. If you rush it, you'll get shit. It'll be horrible. This is why we don't rush. We go with the flow and we stay patient. Moose, cool, calm, and collected. This is someone who's very independent. They're very powerful. So this would be someone very mature, very mature-minded. Someone here who's very responsible. Bit like a rock and then the garden garden is getting out there it's public it's going out on a date or it's meeting people but it literally just talks about outdoors because i think that there is this very big time period for many of you guys that you have been going you years were in the cocoon um didn't want to do nothing needed to heal needed to lick your wounds it wasn't time you weren't ready the man see that when you're ready a masculine is going to come in when you're ready. The beaver, things working against you. This is that feeling a lot of you guys have been going through. You feel like no matter how hard I try, take two steps forward, I get dragged back 10. How come everything is always happening to me? Why is it always, you know, when it rains, it pours? It has that feeling of things working against you, repetition, it's always the same shit, but persistence pays off determine making dreams real. See that? The beaver energy is, yeah, it's a little bit tougher and harder for some, but it's going to be so fucking worth it in the end. Devil, this is Capricorn. This is being not being able to let something go, 
maybe obsessively thinking about it, and it's the Virgo way. The stallion, breaking free from whatever this is that has been stuck in your head, whatever you couldn't let go of. The dog, a very supportive friend. Feels like some of you guys, this is what's coming in that you don't see coming. Maybe it starts off as friendship or maybe it's just a friend that comes in and love comes later, obviously. But there's this extremely loyal, faithful, devoted type of an energy coming in with the dog. And then the moon here is Pisces energy, but it's secrets. The moon is intuition. The moon is the, um, the energy of you don't see it coming. So we're going to go and dive into your extended. If you want to rent it, click on that upside down triangle below. I'm going to be using the Sexual Tarot Magic deck cards as well as a couple others. So um, it'll be in the Zodiac Intimate section of my website, saltwaterhealstarot.com. Also in the description box below is the link to my Patreon. And there I do erotic tarot readings, but I also am going to be doing bonus readings there. I did two um, readings with the Intuit Oracle Twin Flame deck messages from your beloved so that's there as well if you want to follow me there but thank you for your likes your shares and your subscriptions here on youtube follow me on instagram xi underscore missy underscore it's i and remember i would never solicit you or approach you or dm or message you and ask if you want a reading or a session those are scammers pretending to be me on those accounts on tiktok and on instagram i don't got backup accounts i have one on each honey okay don't get don't get scammed all right i will see you guys in your extended love you